J. Cooley with the Stooley. I'm back here at the Comic Fox with the comic that hundreds of people were wondering what happened to it. Joker, the man who stopped laughing. This is issue 10. Let's get it. So the comic picks up with Black Mask interrogating some guy. But then out of nowhere, it looks like just Joker gas just starts going throughout the whole air. So we know who's here. And it's the Joker. And we get him negotiating with Black Mask about henchmen. You know, the things that, you know, crime bosses do, I guess. But then picking up at the hideout of Joker 2, the Joker whose dream was shown in Night Terrors. Then we get Red Hood, and he just straight up shoots the puppet guy, Ventriloquist, I think his name is. Then we transition back to Black Mask and Joker number 1. Trying to figure out who Joker number two is, but it quickly switches to Black Mask getting tortured because Joker number one thinks he knows a little something. Now we can officially say that the Joker Civil War has started as we see both sides attacking each other. When Joker one calls one of his men, you know, it's not one of his men that picks up. It happens to be Red Hood. And yeah, I kind of like that one. So then we get Joker number one on the phone with one of his henchmen who has information on the identity of Joker number two. But 20 minutes later, that henchman dies. And then we get the appearance of someone we haven't seen in a while, Manhunter. But then just to find out that henchman that died, quote unquote, isn't even really dead. Now, this is going to be a little confusing. Picking up at the hospital 12 minutes later... And when this man gets worked on, Joker 1 just bust in with a gun and, yeah, just to get the name, but his henchman actually dies. Then we get the appearance of someone interesting. So do y'all remember a person that one of the Jokers, I can't really remember, talked to in a hospital? Like, he was in a hospital and he literally stopped to do that. He's doing that again. And, yeah, we actually, it actually ends with Joker reading a Wonder Woman comic. But that is it. That is the end of issue number 10. I actually am glad that they are releasing this comic book again, as I'm interested in it, as are you guys, which I love. And yeah, a comment, get in the comments and really let me know what y'all think is going on just with this whole story, because you, your guys' theories are actually really interesting. But with all that being said, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below what I just said and what y'all thought of the story, and I'm out of here. Peace.